Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alex Perez. I am 22 years old and I am currently on my fifth week post circumcision surgery. So let's talk about it. Why are you thinking about getting surgery done in that area? Um, I guess two most common, I guess for one would be the tearing of the frenulum, right? That little cord in the back tears, feels like the end of the world. Trust me, I've been there. It's super uncomfortable and it's circumcision is probably the only way to really get that done there are surgeries out there to extend it to cut it and stretch it but uh if you're going that far you might as well just get circumcision and two balanitis right me i also suffer from balanitis i was in the military uh, i trained a lot uh, i guess being clean wasn't always my number one priority so what happened uh being dirty you know not showering for two weeks at a time ultimately led up to me getting balanitis and again, it's probably the worst feeling, right? Uh, dry, you start seeing all these bumps. Um, it, it just looks horrible, feels horrible. Um, skin is peeling, right? Uh, sometimes it's pretty hard to retract the foreskin back to actually use a restroom. But yeah, let's talk about it. Why I had it done. So in case you're wondering, I had both of those conditions, right? So I had to have circumcision surgery. Um, creams, medication. None of that's really going to work to cure balanitis, right? All you can really do is mask it, right? You can suppress it, but those symptoms are going to go away at, in a short period of time, right? So I'd take the medication, two weeks, I'd be fine. Third week, boom, right back, right? It could be as, you know, I'm, I'm just in the sun and I'm sweating and uh, I'd go home, I shower and boom, what do I know? It's back, right? So you got to definitely get that taken care of, right? I don't know, medications might work for you. They didn't work for me, but uh, circumcision is probably your best bet to get that fixed, right? So let's talk about it, right? For me, this was my first surgery. Uh, my biggest fear was being put asleep. Actually, it's honestly awesome. Um, they put you the medicine, they tell you to count to five, and before you count to three, they tell you good night. And what happens next? You wake up uh, 45 minutes an hour after they give you the medication, everything seems fine, right? Uh, fast forward about four hours after the medication, uh, I'm sorry, four hours after the surgery, medication wear off, right? You start to fear, you start to feel everything, right? From the cuts, to the tears, to the stitches, you feel everything. But uh, let's talk about what you can do. So, I mean, all you can really do, right, is just relax, right? Uh, one mistake I made as, as is I sat up for an hour playing video games, you know, just sitting up in a chair just like this, playing video games. Um, what do you know, I get up to use the restroom, and uh, there's this big puddle of blood underneath me. I didn't notice it, you know, you don't feel it. But uh, yeah, so what you wanna do, actually for the first week, you just wanna lay down, right? You just wanna watch movies, you just kinda wanna chill, uh, get up when you have to, but if you don't have to be up, just lay down, right? That's just gonna speed up the healing process. And uh, yeah, uh, for me, I had to ice a little bit, right? Cause the swelling was causing me to bleed a little excessively, right? So yeah just take these precautions um one thing i did not do which i wish somebody would have told me is when you take off the gauze do it in the restroom right do it in the shower uh preferably get it nice and wet um then take it off me i took it off when it was dry right i actually tore my skin open and uh i started to bleed a lot um what do you know uh that part that actually started to bleed is actually the last part to heal and uh you know just be smart about it right so take it off in the restroom uh, when it's wet and moist. Uh, if you're going anywhere, you again, you want to wrap it, right? You want to put a gauze, you want to put a neosporin, uh, you want to wrap it, you know, you want to put it snug, but not too tight because you will feel everything, right? <coughs> Reason why I say to wrap it is uh, for me, I didn't really wrap it uh, first couple of days after, you know, I'd go to the store. Probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but uh, I ran out of bacon and I love bacon. So I had to go get bacon and what do you know? so uncomfortable right i didn't even want to be there um just walking out of my car to the store it's probably the worst thing right uh best thing to do if you're walking around after the surgery is waddle right take wider steps wherever you go you know you kind of want to waddle like a penguin uh to help mitigate that stress that's on your actual uh, incision right so the way it worked for me uh my doctor did a pretty good job of applying stitches but the worst thing that you're gonna feel probably the work well I know it's the worst thing you're gonna feel, so it's the worst thing I felt. 
is when a piece of clothing were to actually touch your stitches, right? So the way they cut it is, right? It's this, let's say is a stitch, right? They cut it and it's a big, the majority of the time it's gonna be facing up. And uh, as soon as it touches your box or anything, it's actually gonna feel like somebody is jabbing you with a needle. So the best thing to do is wrap it, right? Put a gauze, needle spore, and like I said, uh, make sure it's not, it's nice and snug, but not too tight. But uh, yeah, first week, uh, like I said, first four days, probably the worst. Uh, after the eighth day, things started to get a little better. I was able to, you know, go to the gym, uh, resume my normal activities. Uh, again, still not comfortable by any means, but it definitely gets better. Uh, so second week, let's say on uh, day 14, still everything looks, you know, cut, right? It still looks fresh. However, it's not as swollen, nor is it that red. And when I mean red, it's like you don't see any more blood really oozing out, right? You're able to shower. Uh, you really want to get it, you know, you really want to clean the area. Um, but yeah, first two weeks, after the first two weeks, start, things start to get normal again, right? You're able to do your normal activity, you're able to go to the gym, uh, a couple stitches might still be there. However, they're not as uncomfortable as they first were in the first week. So yeah, um, me, I'm currently on my fifth week, normal, I'm able to resume all my normal activities whether it be physical, you know, sexual, you know, just anything, right? Um, so again, guys, if you're gonna have the surgery, just be careful, right? You don't wanna make the same mistakes I made. Um, if you had the surgery and you're currently healing right now, just know things are gonna get better, right? I freaked out. I had to go to a different doctor to get something looked out. Turned out it was actually normal, right? So whatever you think you might be seeing, turns out you might be seeing, I'm sorry, turns out it's probably normal, right? If one part is still swollen, um, you know, one part doesn't look like it's healing as fast as the others. Um, it's it's perfectly normal, right? Unless you start seeing, you know, oozing, right? Extreme swelling. Um, for me, the swelling was not too bad. But, you know, just call, you know, there's, I'm sure every doctor or every hospital has a nurse hotline. I utilize mine. Um, since I was in the military, I had to I utilize the VA nursing line. And uh, yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, any concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, I really wanted to make this video, you know, just don't be scared, right? I, I for one was scared. I'm not gonna tell you not to be scared because you probably are, but just know everything's gonna be fine, right? After the first week, things start definitely going up. And uh, you know, as far as the sensitivity goes, me personally, I didn't really, I actually feel a lot less sensitive, right? Um, big concern. I saw some videos out there on the web that is gonna feel a lot sensitive, right? Whether it's rubbing against your skin or, um, yeah, against your leg or your clothing. For me, it's actually a lot less sensitive. I don't even notice it, but uh, you know, it might be different for everybody. But again, if you guys have any concerns, um, if you're gonna have it and you have a question about like what to do or if you had it and you had a question uh, about like something that's going on in your healing process, whether it be week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, or wherever, right? Just leave it in the comments. Uh, thank you guys. And uh, everything's gonna be all right.